Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we're discussing another variant of the 2015 to present Resence Type 5 dive watch family. Of course, 2015 brought us the original Type 5, 2016 brought us a black version of the watch, and the gray model bowed for 2017, and that is the model we see right here. I've never shot the watch on its factory alligator leather strap, so we're going to do a full dress review of this watch as though it were an entirely new model to the channel. Now, on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you get a good sense of this watch's footprint. Though it is a 46 millimeter case, it doesn't wear that large. Lug to lug it's only 51.3 millimeters and you can see the lugs are rather sharply downturned and stubby so it's the shape of the lugs as well as the short span that really has the impact on how this watch wears. Don't be fooled by 46. This watch doesn't wear anything like an IWC Big Pilots watch. Now it is thick 15.9 millimeters but you can see just how domed the case flank is so it does easily slide underneath a jacket cuff if not a dress shirt. 20 mil uh, 24 millimeter spacing between the lugs and 24 is a broad stance so you do get a wonderful set of custom straps when you buy the watch. You get one that's swimmable and then you get this anthracite alligator leather that's a medium rectangular scale matte finish on the top and you'll note it's a bonded strap so not stitched but bonded. More alligator leather, small round scale on the bottom. The advantage and it's one that many high horology brands are now recognizing is that if you put alligator on both sides, yeah the strap costs a few hundred dollars more but it also lasts a few years longer than if it had calfskin on the bottom. The pin buckle is a handsome piece. It's a counterweighted clevis style, which is a clever design, but then it's also thoughtfully detailed. As you can see, there is a Resence hand logo inside the tip of the pin of the buckle, and there's even a little revetment to house the tip of the pin inside the body of the buckle. I love that kind of attention to detail. Now, the case band is a sliver of polished grade 5 titanium. You can see that most of the thickness of the watch is the bezel, the cambered sapphire, and the case back setting mechanism. And you really get a sense of how sharply downturned and stubby those lugs are. That's why this watch wears so easily. Now, it was the first highly water resistant Resence watch prior to this model. They tended to be 10 meters or 1 ATM, splash only, and even then be careful. Here you have a true diver, 100 meters, and it features a rotating unidirectional style bezel. So you can rotate that unidirectional bezel and you can actually line it up with the regulator style minute hand which is probably the largest and brightest minute hand on any watch anywhere. So you have a unidirectional rotating dive bezel but a dive bezel is defined by its ability to shorten but not accidentally lengthen a dive and that's because it only moves in one direction. The problem here is that the watch also gets set via the case back. So if the case back moves, you might accidentally extend your dive in spite of the unidirectional bezel. So you also need to be able to lock the case back in place. And it goes into a locking mode when you have set the watch. You lock it and now you're good to swim. Now you unlock it and now, you, by the way, you can see there is a rotor in the case back. It is an automatic watch. You can manually wind the watch using the case back by ratcheting it back and forth through the resistance and you will find the resistance of the winding zone. But then you can also use the case back to set the watch and it's a crazy regulator dial. As you can see, hours and minutes are separate from each other as well as the seconds. Each one has its own separate register and then there is a thermometer that lets you know when the oil inside the watch is approaching extremes of temperature, hot or cold, that might threaten the performance of the timepiece. Now as you can see, it is a regulator and it's also a wild watch, so I'm going to explain how this actually works. Uh, the timepiece is red starting with the hours and then outboard. So you can see right here it is 825. So I'm looking at 825 and then I've got my constant seconds indicator which is known as the runner which shuffles along and allows you to see that the watch is running before taking a dive. Remember, diving style watch. Inside the case is a Resence modified and Resence tuned ETA 28242 automatic winding bi-directional 28 8 beat rate 36 hour power reserve. It is a 25 joule automatic and tank tough. Now, 
fluorescence then builds atop that the Resence Orbital Convex System 5, which is the ROCS-5 used for the diver. That has 142 additional parts, and it represents the original watchmaking content of the timepiece. It contains 37.5 milliliters of oil, and you can see one of the concepts underpinning this watch's virtuosity as a light-duty diver is the fact that the index of refraction of the sapphire and the oil is the same. So surface or subsurface, you can always see the watch from any angle. There's no distortion. Moreover, there's a bellows system that allows expansion and contraction of the oil inside the dial, and there is a shock absorber system so you can't accidentally move the setting mechanism so quickly that you damage the watch. Finally, there is a magnetic coupling that separates the movement from the Resence Orbital Convex system, so they're, they're actually joined by a magnet. This is a tremendously innovative interface that is also hugely practical, super intuitive to read, and a ton of fun to show to your friends. Original watchmaking content built in Switzerland, designed in Antwerp, Belgium. This is perhaps the most unusual dive watch you can buy. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Resonance Type 5G Mega Loom. You can see the bezel, you can see the dial, you can even see the temperature display, and look at that. The locking mechanism on the flank is loomed so you can use it prior to taking a nocturnal dive.